very sorry to hear that. Sure, sure they are. It's going to cost them more. You know, this business is a business of relationships. Yeah, and everyone loved Marky. You are a cynical bastard, you know that. Reclaim the American dream and reaffirm that fundamental truth that out of many, we are one. You hear that line? Line's for you. Don't make me laugh. For one people. It's a myth created by Thomas Jefferson. Oh, no, you never go with Jefferson, huh? My friend, Jefferson's an American saint. Because he wrote the words, all men are created equal. Words he clearly didn't believe since he allowed his own children to live in slavery. He's a rich wine snob who's sick of paying taxes to the Brits. So yeah, he wrote some lovely words and aroused the rabble and they went out and died for those words. While he sat back and drank his wine and fucked his slave girl. This guy wants to tell me we're living in a community. Don't make me laugh. I'm living in America. And in America, you're on your own. America's not a country. It's just a business. Now fucking pay me. And that's right. America is just a business. Don't be led on by the bravado of a machine. Okay, folks, this is Liberty, and we're off for our walk and talk with the Wonder Dog, Deidre May, we think. Yeah, we are. (laughs) Okay. We haven't been on the air for several weeks. We've been uh, really busy. We work... For the government. And we're on the computer all day. So, to get on the computer, even though we enjoy our this presentation after work, to get on the computer has become more and more laborious. And... We are on our way to get Deidre May to join us here. Didi! It is a pretty day, West Central Florida. Uh, It's a little crispy. Well, hey, there's the Wonder Dog. Let's go for a walk. No, we're not going to the beauty parlor right now, Deidre May. Come on. Didi. Come on. No, D. D. This way. For those of you who have listened before, Deidre May likes to uh, dig in the yard. So we finally got the holes all filled up. We've eliminated the... uh, cement blocks that she likes to play with and use it, uses as her plowing tool and she really had the yard tore up but uh, hopefully she's realized the error of her mistakes because <laughs> uh, she hasn't re-dug up any holes and it's been about a week there she is come on D. And so we're walking in the woods, and we see Muldoon hidden in the in the uh, woods behind the house. So uh, apparently looking for prey, to stay away from the bee dog. Today is a Saturday, and the Manatee Festival is going on in Crystal River, Florida. It's a nice day to be out and about. The trouble is, if you're like most of us, if it doesn't fall on a particular day where you've just been paid, you don't have a lot of extra capital for 
enjoying yourselves. Although maybe things are going to be turning around somewhat. You know, the gas price is falling, and according to the newspaper, um, consumer price index has actually fallen for the first time in six years, which is a good sign. The big question is, for how long, and what are the mitigating factors that have caused a sudden turnaround? So, the lone wolf is putting together a show. I don't know how exactly when it'll be on, but they. I think he's going to dwell into some of these issues. And uh, I think that uh, there's a possibility that these uh, oil prices have gone down because they're trying to uh, attack the production of oil that we currently have going on in the States, I think in one of the Dakotas and possibly in Oklahoma. But they're, of course they're using a fracking technique to release the uh, the gases and oil from the shell rock which uh, I think the jury's out as far as a long term detrimental harm it may do to planet earth uh, there's also some speculation that uh, for any of you who do not know that Oil is actually not a finite resource, but is a renewable resource. And that, uh, I haven't looked into all the details on this, but uh, there's a site out. It's called uh, Stop the uh, Stop the Crime .net, I believe. And uh, I think there's a Miss Tavares on it that. Uh, has quite an abundance of information for those of you to research and to discover many interesting facts. Um, those in power, the elitists that actually manipulate these uh, happenings in the world today, uh, make you wonder what to expect next. And I don't want to go into the too much of the Lone Wolf's uh, potential broadcast, but uh, it's quite alarming. I mean, nobody knows the time frame for this, but um, it seems that uh, the agendas of the elitists, they're not on a time frame. They, they're methodical. Uh, they orchestrate events. And uh, they f they watch where the chess pieces fall, and then they reevaluate and orchestrate more events. And uh, basically, uh, you can't believe anything you see on the national broadcasting news over most of your and all of your corporate control media. They have pretty much the same script from channel to channel. And uh, it's a sad, sad state of affairs that our illustrious history uh, no longer has the free press to defend the infractions of the mighty against those of the less fortunate. They have consistently been dumbing down the population. This this enlightenment, what they call this core program, which uh, all of the states, I believe, are now going to be involved in, is basically a brainwashing. It is a brainwashing technique. 
in order to limit the ability for th free thought to be able to comprehend and understand what you're looking at. And not only do the news media try to manipulate your thoughts in this manner, a lot of your proper, you know, your popular shows have the same currency for their menu, the same menu for their ideas, and basically get everybody on the same page, make sure you all fall in line like proper little soldiers, and those, and, and for those problems that you can't explain, uh, find a solution to, or you don't want them, the us being them, us, to find what the problem is and the solution is for, then let's blame it on all the minorities. And let's blame it on the poor. Let's blame it on uh, the immigrants. Let's blame it, you know, when fundamentally, let's blame it on the elitists. <clears throat> the elitists. The elitists are the ones controlling everything. The figureheads that we elect and that we think represent us don't represent us. They're pretty much, if they're not directly brainwashed by the elitists, they are indirectly. And then they are also directly manipulated by them. They are told what to do in many instances. Because we are no longer a land of the people, by the people, and for the people. We are a land of the corporation, by the corporation, for the corporation. We, that is what Citizen United ruling in the Supreme Court was all about. They, may, they said that corporations have the same legal rights as individuals in this country. And thus are allowed to invest any amounts of untold millions of dollars into election campaigns, thereby electing their candidate through the mass media propaganda machine. So, what you have here are corporations that are not even in this country, but are actually worldwide, can control the outcome of our elections. And there is a trade agreement, a new trade agreement on the table, which the corporations are writing. And uh, it looks like it's probably going to be passed through their control Congress. And it's the, it, like all of the agreements that within the last 20 years for global economy, we are going to get the short end of the stick. So, if any of you feel like getting up and actually taking concern, you need to look into this and get your ass up off the couch and uh, try to contact, write letters to your people who supposedly represent you and voice your opinion as to how distasteful this is and we want to restore the dignity of the United States. We want to eliminate the Patriot Act, which was passed during the false flag propaganda of 9-11. And it's still on the books, which is totally uh, unconstitutional. Um, we want people to have a right to live in freedom. And we understand because of the, the world problems that exist today, which a good share of them is be, has, has been because of the corporate takeover of our government and marching our armies off around the world to reap the natural resources of the different nations on the globe. And is it any wonder, I mean, I do not, for one instance, uh, 
support any kind of terrorist activity. But you have to uh, just wonder in the long term uh, if these people who who are whose homelands and relatives have been killed if either not through our military directly but through our mercenaries that usually come out of our military after they get done their service these people look at who's responsible and all they see is this big giant empire of the United States and uh, they don't realize that the American people pretty much have lost control of their government either through uh, by accepting the brainwashing propaganda or um, just having no recourse they they don't understand that and they take their anger out on us where we basically have no control over any of these events and there's a good share of this population that we don't we don't support any of these acts yet they want to harm us personally when we have nothing to do with it no say over it and uh, that is totally wrong there'll be all kinds of arguments you know uh, defending our borders and all of this bullshit but basically it's that's what it is bullshit this is the stuff that Hitler took over Germany with and make no mistake about it this isn't just about the United States this is ultimately about the world this new world order is a real thing <clears throat> it's just not a fairy tale it's been going on now for decades And with this new world order, there'll be one world government. And with one world government, can you imagine how much say you're going to have? We're being watched by electronic means, by drones, by listening to all of our conversations. Uh, their plan for us is not good, the majority of us. And even those of you who have a lot of... Uh, money and might be considered an elitist but you might not be in the inner circles you should become wary also because ultimately you may become in their disfavor and you'll be the next notch on their gun that they hope to eliminate so if you're out and about in Citrus County on Saturday. Uh, let's see, what is today's date? I mean, it's the 17th, I think. But yes, the 17th of January. Make sure you go into Crystal River for the Manatee Festival. As I mentioned before, it sounds like a lot of fun. They have Citrus Avenue blocked off, and uh, they're having a shuttles out to the mall and back so you can ride the shuttle out for about a buck and park your car at the mall and come into town so uh, I imagine a lot of people are going to have a good time there today and as I said before we are going to be uh, wishing that we had gotten paid this this week uh, don't foresee us making it to that but uh, never know. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about this. There was this guy in December, I believe it was, at an Inver Inverness gas station. Was a 71-year-old guy at the uh, Walmart Murphy gas station who was attacked and thrown to the ground. Uh, by this guy from Hernando, I think this uh, paper said, out of the Citrus County Chronicle. Even this guy that 
threw him to the ground at 61 years old, and he also uh, made a threatening move towards the gentleman's wife who was sitting in the car, but then he drove off. They finally caught this guy. And this here again plays into the question of uh, what is going on with people. Uh, you know, this whole madness that is befalling us is basically uh, planned. It's through uh, de-education. It's through <coughs> pardon me, national media propaganda desensitizing people. And it's through various other electronic means of mind manipulation, which we're not even aware about, that goes on all the time. There's a bunch of us, a bunch of the elitists who can afford it, or buying underground shelters, and uh, for whatever ill events that may be coming to our planet yeah, but the rest of us will be pretty much out of luck and there's no guarantee they won't be out of luck either but the time's able for all this we don't really know I mean as I say this grand agenda uh, they've got their own timetable and it really doesn't relate to us not in our human lifespan humanity's lifespan so um uh, And an interesting tidbit while I'm I refer to humanity. Uh, uh, there's an English law book from the 1700s. Uh, Black, well, maybe, uh, their definition of humanity. Uh, it's quite interesting. They, they refer to humanity as monsters. So, with that note, I'll let you ponder that. Um, Google it or whatever your favorite search engine is. And uh, try to find the ancient definition for humanity. And uh, that English law. Uh, black, I know it isn't Blackstone. Uh, Blackwell, possibly, but... And D has decided to disembark from our walk. So ponder uh, our little dis uh, discussion today. Utilize the internet while we still have it because they haven't censored it too badly as of today. But you can rest assured that will too will go by the wayside. So while you're watching your family, friends, and photos on Facebook, uh, which will probably be the only types of information you'll be asked to ascertain if uh, they pass these laws to prohibit uh, the, the, the streaming speed for certain websites. We want net neutrality, so if you hear that term passed about, make sure to support that. And we, on the premise that maybe we do still have some say in this government, even though as minimal as it may be. So let's stay tuned for uh, the Lone Wolf uh, upcoming broadcast, uh, where he'll dwell more into some of these aspects with a little more detail. And uh, enjoy your Saturday and your rest of the weekend. This is Liberty, and as we're signing off. Hello.